It's looking more likely that it'll be late tomorrow night into the early morning hours on Thursday. Let me show you where this storm is now and where it's going because uh, we can now see a very well defined eye with this hurricane, meaning this thing is tight. It's strong and it's going to continue to strengthen as it moves into those warmer waters and areas of low winds in the southern Gulf of Mexico. And in the latest update, they have winds of 125 miles per hour with gusts at 155, but it is likely to strengthen to a category four hurricane later on today. It's going to continue to move north through the day today overnight and into tomorrow. And then there you see a Tampa likely to see a major hurricane somewhere near the Tampa area. I should say whether it's in the city exactly. We're going to have to wait and see, but it's close enough to where we're very concerned about storm surge considering the angle at which this hurricane will make landfall. Once it gets over land, there's still a little bit of a spread in our models as to where it goes from there. It is likely to turn towards the north, but notice how that cone gets a little wider here. We could see impacts across uh, a good chunk of Florida. In fact, those winds are going to stretch 70 miles per hour from the center. So I would say, considering how skinny Florida is, the entire state will be looking at tropical storm force winds, at least if not hurricane force winds, as well as additional heavy rainfall. And then this will continue to weaken as it runs over land in the southeast. That's all going to happen within the next